Hello and welcome to In Affinity. Sometimes when you, for example, selected edges, uh, you may want to make lines thicker or thinner. This is a method by which you can do that. We're not going to show an example, we're just going to show how the technique works. I'll do another video to show you an example of doing it. So, you take a paintbrush, opacity um, 100 and hardness 100. This is just to draw a line. So we'll click on that and select this up, have it on black, thank you, click and shift click and then I'll do a wiggle down there and a kind of square rectangle here. Right, so now we're going to work on these and the first thing you do is we look at the edge here. If you've got a hard line on the edge here as we've got then you're going to start with a blur, otherwise you can start with a levels. So we'll start with the blur and I'll do a preserve alpha because if I do the radius up look at the way the edge goes transparent so I put preserve alpha on to stop that and I'm going to turn it up and you turn it up until there's a fair amount of blur but you've got a center here so let's have a look at what's happening in here with the line. It starts off the pretty hard edge as you turn this up the edge sort of spreads out and it's the way the blur works. So the edge was about here. Anything this side of it gets more and more and more black from around about 50% and the other side it gets more and more and more white. So you're going to turn up so you've still got a bit of black in the middle but you've got a plenty of this which you can use to play with in levels because that's what I'll do next. So we'll click on that and I'll go to adjustments and levels and look what we're going to do here. If I turn up the black, effectively I'm going to say with this line here, anything to the left of this in terms of lightness, because this goes from black to white, is going to be get darker. Yeah, it's going to be completely black. So anything to the left of this is black. So as I push this up, any of these things here, which are to the left of the line, go black. So I push this up and up and up and up, and it effectively pushes this out. And this is the way you make a line bigger. And the opposite is true if you get the white and you pull it down, factory saying anything to the right of that white is going to be made completely white. So it's effectively going to go into these and turn these white as it comes down. And you so effectively bring the line in. So this is a way of making the line thinner. If it goes a bit grey and funny like that, if you bring up the black, there you go, it's push a black out in the middle. When those two lines meet, you know, pretty much meet, then it's going to be a pretty solid line. If they cross over, it'll go negative. So that, if you want to start off then, we go from Control 0 out here, just to make it blacker, we'll turn it up. You don't have to go all the way, but just far enough up. And then I click on here again, and I put in another blur. And I turn the radius up here to add more blur. And click again, go to levels and bring the black up and so on. See it's getting thicker and thicker every time. So this is a, like a ladder. If I open this up here it went blur, levels, blur, level, blur, levels. And note with this by the way, um, it can be fairly processor intensive when you're doing it on the picture. So if necessary you might need to uh, do something like right click on this and do a merge visible and that'll produce a layer of everything in so far that you can turn this off to stop it recalculating every time. So we'll do this here now. We'll do a right click on here. Let's do a merge visible again like that. Turn this one off. So we're now just working on a picture like this. We want to make this line thinner for example. So we've got a blur here so we're going to go straight to a levels. And we're going to make this white. We're going to pull that down here. So this shrinks this down and until we got to around here. And notice, by the way, when you're doing these, these things, when you've got corners, it can go a different thickness. So watch for that. Now I'm going to do another blur. And add to that blur. I'm keeping a core within that. Then we're going to do levels, bring the white down, 
and it comes in like this and see if it's getting a bit too faded you can bring the black up to restore a bit of black to work with and then you can blur it again and do a levels again and so on as far as you like the thing to remember and also note with this lines of different thickness um, can have a, be affected differently so you've got multiple lines on a picture you need to work with them anyway that's enough that's the technique that is the blur and levels ladder you can make lines thicker or thinner there we go thank you very much for watching